we have a spherical hollow pendulum that is filled with water and it oscillates from about this point O. Later the water freezes. We need to find what will be the change in angular velocity. So what will be the ratio of change in angular velocity of SHM. So initially when the water is in liquid state then the system is approximated as simple mathematical pendulum. So I'll show you with this example and then you can relate it with the water. So let's say we have this body that is connected by a rod with about this point and this joint is a flexible hinge. So now it will this body is just undergoing translationary motion with respect to its center of mass. In fact, if you see this point, which is connected with the hinge, you can see that is turning with the, if this is the length L, that point is turning in a radius of L. If you take any other point, so let me show that. So let's say if you take this point, this point. So you can see about this point, this point is also turning by same angle, same length L and every other point also. So all the points on this rigid body are, are rotating by the same length L. But that is not the case when this joint is rigid. When the joint is rigid, this particle on the top is traveling in a smaller circle and this particle which is at the edge of this body is traveling in a bigger circle. So that's why this is a compound pendulum because here the body is rotating with respect to its center of mass. But here that is not happening. So here every part of the body is rotating uh, with the same about the same radius r. Even though that point might be different, but the rotation is same. So that is the case of a simple pendulum. And here also, because you can imagine if the liquid particle is here, so the liquid particle itself is not rotating with respect to center of mass. So this condition is same as this. So that's why the system is approximated as simple mathematical pendulum. The second case is uh, when the water freezes and then it's a compound pendulum. So that is pretty straightforward. We know omega of a compound pendulum is root mglcm by i about o. So i about o is icm plus ml square. So icm is 2 by 5 mr square plus ml square. So this is omega with respect to o. And here in case of simple mathematical pendulum, we will take the whole mass and put it as put it at center of mass. And then the omega will be root g by L. So we just divide that and this will be our answer. All right.